Y'all, you know, I don't care what I'm doing that's considered wrong or against the law or against this rule and that rule. It's now 10.59 a.m. I'm being workplace mobbed already. This is my second day here. And one of the guys named Gary, I'm mentioning names, Gary, he went out of his way to be nice and helpful yesterday. Now, today, he's acting nice and normal towards everybody else, but acting a total bitch towards me and getting an attitude with me. I'm still new and learning, and he getting, getting an attitude with me and treat me like as if I'm supposed to know all the rules. And so I asked him, like, what's with your attitude? Earlier, I said, are you tired or something? He said, oh, yeah, I'm very, very tired. But today, he just now picking on me. It doesn't seem like I'm going to last long because... I just got here, and they're trying to drive me off the job already. This is not fair for me to stay homeless and on the streets suffering with nothing. And I'm trying to fight back. I'm on the verge of tears. I'm not, keep, I'm not keeping quiet. I'm not biting my tongue. I'm going to say what I need to say and expose every dirty deed that y'all are doing to me, online or in person, at work, at the homeless sleep spot, at any hotel, motel, restaurant, anything dirty that y'all doing, I'm naming names and, I, and I'm calling y'all out. Now y'all try to make like, oh, Candy, oh, you acting like a punk and you being all scared and you're the one who's first who's likely to sell out because, because you're weak and you know you act like you're scared to fight against this. Oh, you, you too scared to name names and scared to do this and scared to do that. But when I do everything, I, everything gets my 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 living, my quality of life gets sabotaged. So I even screamed at this guy and said, "Why are you getting an attitude with me?" Because just now he falsely accused me of stealing somebody's spot and then talked to me like a retarded child and said, "Well, oh, well, where were you earlier? Oh, you can't be taking people's spots now." And so I said, "I was right here." I was right here. And he's like, no, you weren't, you weren't, you were over there. I said, no, I was over here and you told me to move up to that other spot. So I just got here and because their workplace, I mean, and I'm working around a whole bunch of fucking men, only a couple of us females, a whole bunch of men. And as I said, I need to make my own living. I need to make a living. I have a right to make a living. Being a targeted individual is worse than being in jail or prison. Well, all your rights are just stripped from you from stuff you're falsely accused of. I don't care, I'm not shutting up. So, I'm letting y'all know what's going on. As I said, I just got here. I just got here. And it's a full-time job with doggone benefits that could have helped me get back on my feet. But y'all sit Y'all sit, sitting there, you know, blasting loud music. Y'all look like y'all just got out of jail or prison. And y'all sitting there, you know, trying to force me to stay homeless. This is not right, and you're a fucking man. And a black man at that doing this to a fucking female. I don't care. As I said, like, what the hell got into everybody just, like, overnight? And I, as I said, I noticed some perfect activity yesterday. You know, so y'all want to talk about me being unprofessional. No, workplace bullying is unprofessional. You're a man old enough to be my father, old enough to be my dad, and you're sitting there freaking bullying, bullying a 38-year-old woman. Trying to drive me to want to quit already, and I just got here. As I say, what the, what, I don't know what got into him that yesterday he acted like as if he was eager to go out of his way to help me with whatever I wanted or whatever I needed help with. And now today he's being a, just a total bitch. Yeah, I call men bitches too. So I mean, as I said, I'm slated for being back on the streets already and I just, I mean, I mean you know, well, I mean, I am still homeless, you know, but People think I'm the troublemaker because I got so many complaints, but I'm sitting here telling y'all what's going on. I had to come in here, take a little break, and come in here and take a little breather because they damn sure they don't, 
I mean, they lolly, they lollygag and play around and take their time and take nearly an hour to clean one car when I take ten about ten minutes. But I just got here and I, I don't be trying to tell them nothing. You know, I don't be trying to tell them how they to do their job because I'm new. But you know, they they lollygag and play around and take their time. I know we're supposed to just work at our own pace and stuff. You know. But I mean, as I said, like, what demon entered you overnight that you that you're trying to bully me off the job now? Harassing people, and there's laws against workplace harassment. But obviously, you know, pe workplace bullying victims, we need reparations. We need reparations. I don't care. As I said. I'm speaking out. Y'all want me to stop being so scary and submissive, so here I'm speaking out, and I'm now I'm the world's worst enemy because I'm because I'm um being more vocal. People told me throughout the years not to be easy pushover, or saying that I allow myself to be pushed over and abused, and I got tired of being blamed for being abused. So I came in here to t take a little quick break, you know, to try to calm down. As I said, I just got here.